Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be seeing the Android application components. The application components are the essential building blocks of the Android application. Each component is an entry point through which the system or user can enter in your app. Some components depend on each other. Let's see what all different types of components which are available for us. The first component which is available for us is what? Activity. Next is services. Third one is broadcast receiver. Fourth one is content provider. Each type serves a distinct purpose and has a distinct life cycle that defines how the component is created and destroyed. So let's see each and every component in detail. Activities. An activity is the entry point for interacting with an user. It represents a single screen with a user interface. For example, we will say that we are making an email application. So when we are making an email application, there might be different functionality in an application. So like creating or composing mail, then reading the mail, sending mail. So for each and every operation what we can do we can create a different activity each for different purpose one activity for composing a mail one activity for reading down the mails one for listing down the mails which have been received another activity for sending the mail so this is how we can create an application using an activity so we can take an another application like a media player where we can create an application through which we can manage all the songs which are there in a particular application for that we can make an activity for playing playing the song we can make the activity for managing the songs we can make the activity for maintaining the playlist we can make the activity next component is services a services is a general purpose entry point for keeping an app running in the background for all kind of reason. It is a component that runs in the background to perform long running operation or to perform work for remote processes. A service does not provide a user interface. For example, a service might play music in the background while the user is in different app or it might fetch the data over the network without blocking user interaction with an activity. Another component such as an activity can start the service and let it run or bind to it in order to interact with it. There are two types of services that tell the system how to manage an app, started services and bounded services. Started services tell the system to keep them running until their work is completed. This could be seeing some data in the background or play music even after the user leaves the app. Next services is bounded services. Bounded services run because some other app or the system has said that it wants to make use of that service. This is basically the service providing an API to another process. The system does know there is a dependency between these processes. So if a process is bounded to a service in process B, it knows that it needs to keep process B and its service running for A. Broadcast Receivers Broadcast Receiver is the component that enables the system to deliver events to the app outside of a regular user flow, allowing the app to respond to the system by broadcast announcement. Because broadcast receivers are another well-defined entry into the app, the system can deliver the broadcast even to apps that are aren't currently running. For example, an app can schedule an alarm to post a notification to tell the user about an upcoming event and by delivering the alarm to a broadcast receiver of the app. There is no need for the app to remain running until the alarm goes off. Many broadcasts 
originate from the system. For example, a broadcast announcing that the screen has turned off, the battery is low, or a picture was captured. App can also initiate the broadcast. For example, to let other app know that some data has been downloaded to the device and is available for them to use. Although broadcast receivers don't display a user interface, they may create a status bar notification to alert the user when a broadcast event occurs. The last component is content provider. A content provider manages a shared set of app data that you can store in the file system in an SQLite database on the web or on any other persistent storage location that your app can access. Through the content provider, other apps can query or modify the data if the content provider allows it. For example, the Android system provides a content provider that manages the user contact information. As such, any app with a proper permission can access the contact information can read and write the information about a particular person. Content providers are also used for reading and writing the data that is private to your app and not shared. Okay. So thus we have gone through all the components that are useful for mobile app development. Thank you for watching this video. For more such video, stay connected with us.